Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can create dump files on programs. Now, programs sometimes go wrong and they sometimes crash and you have issues with them and uh, you might want to create a dump file. Or maybe you've been on the forum of the creator of that program and they've been asking you to send in a dump file so they can analyze it and debug it and find out where that problem is so they can then send out an update to fix it. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can create a dump file of a program. So here we have Windows 8.1 and on the taskbar here we're going to right click and go task manager. Now if you're looking at this view here you just need to click on more details. Now you can create dump files on anything in here. We're going to create a dump file say of Malwarebytes. There's nothing wrong with Malwarebytes, I must stress that. Uh, it's just to show you how to create a dump file. We're going to right click here and create dump file. It's that simple. And then that dump file has now gone into the temp location. Now this is a hidden path, so you will have to show hidden uh, files, folders and drives. Uh, or you can just type percentage temp percentage and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to come down to the start button here, click run and if you type percentage temp percentage that will open up the uh, temp folder. If you want to show hidden files, folders and drives you can just come up to view, options, change folder and search options and then you can just put the dot inside show hidden files, folders and drives and then go to that path. Okay, once we're in here, you can see we have MBAM, and that's the actual file that's been created. It's a dump file, as you can see here, and this is going to have all the uh, useful information if there was problems with this program. Now, obviously, that's 129 megabytes, and that may, may be a bit too big to send by email, or it may be too big for you to upload. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can zip that up and make it a lot smaller. So you can see it's 129 megabytes. We're using 7-zip here. I'm going to right-click on this. Go 7-zip, add to archive. Now once we've got this add to archive open, we're going to go to the compression method, LZMA2, uh, compression level, we want to go ultra, and then click OK, and that will then start to compress that file. And that should take it round about possibly around about 30 megs or something like that which is quite a bit of a saving compared to 130 and it's a good way of storing all your files and that's nearly zipped up now as you can see there we have the actual mbam.7zip and you can see there now it's 31 compared to 132 now also what you could do there now is uh, upload this somewhere and send that to someone. Now if you wanted to look at this you are going to need to have a special program installed i.e. Microsoft Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows 8. You can download this and install it and that will allow you to open the file up if you want to have a look at it. Now obviously it's not going to do you much good opening it up because you need to know what you're doing and obviously you can see here there's a load of code in here and to debug it and uh, to run debug methods on this to, to, to try and uh, find out where the problem lies that's going to be probably more down to i.e. a technician or down to uh, the creator of the program themselves okay but if you are creating uh, dump files of something else say that might be useful so for instance if you was creating a dump file say of something else along here then you can create dump files of this and this will also create a dump file and that might be useful for diagnosing and stuff like that if, you, if you're capable of doing that, okay? If not, you may want to join a forum and post that onto a forum and they'll probably analyze it for you and find out where the problem lies. So that's basically how you can create a dump file of a program uh, and then you can either debug it or send it on to uh, the creator of the program to analyze it and debug that themselves, okay? My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, if you've got any problems with computers, you can always head over to the forums and the uh, details are on the screen right now. And you can post your questions on there, video requests, all that sort of stuff. And uh, you should be pretty much uh, answered within a day or so, okay? Anyway, so have a great time and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.